Hi, I'm Grayson Mitchum, Technical Marketing Engineer for Rahati Systems. Today's Take Two video topic is defining resources. A resource definition is part of the Extensible Access Control Markup Language, or ZACML specification, and is used to define the target of a given policy. The target is made up of the resource definition, as well as any subjects or actions required to define the exact scope of the policy. Today I'll be focusing on resources. Resources are used to subdivide the content on a protected server into the chunks that you wish to define policies around. A resource can be as simple as all content under a given URL, or as specific as a single file on a server. Once you define the resources needed to meet your requirements, you then pair them with rules to form policies. A resource is defined as a collection of conditions. Here you see an example of an HTTP-based resource. The condition scopes this resource to all content on the web server under the Human Resources directory. The Rohati Transaction Networking System allows you to define and view resources in either a CLI-based textual format or via the Central Management System's GUI. Multiple conditions can be combined if needed, but keep in mind that conditions are joined via an AND operator. So for a target to fall into the scope of a given resource, it must meet all of the conditions. Here you see a resource that scopes only to Excel files located under a share named Sales. If you wish to combine conditions with an OR operator to scope to all Excel or Word documents, you would do so with an attribute group, which I will cover in another Take Two topic. The Rohati Transaction Networking System provides you with a lot of flexibility in defining resources. For HTTP resources, you can use virtually any standard HTTP header information, for example, URL, URI, method, or query string. And for SIFS resources, you can scope to host, share, path, file extension, etc. This concludes the introduction to defining resources. Check back often for more Take Two video topics.